It is a murder mystery that police say is finally solved. Two people are behind bars and charged after admitting to a gruesome murder of an East Nashville couple just a week ago today. Police suspected Brandon Griswold and Whitney Gray after another couple with whom they lived were found dead in a closet in their apartment. Today, the two were arrested in Creve Hall and later admitted to the murders. New at 10, News Channel 5's Todd Walker spoke with a woman who says she ran into the couple while they were on the run. And Todd, imagine she's pretty shaken up tonight. Yeah, she says she was on her way to church yesterday when she saw a couple outside of a gas station that she thought was homeless. She gave them the money she had on her and went about her, the rest of her day. She says today she saw that couple again. When this picture flashed on the news, it was the first time many of us had seen the two people who have now admitted to killing Preston Clay Brooks Jr. and Alexandra Grubbs. When Barbara Brooks saw it today, it was the second time. And when I looked at the news, I looked and I looked again and I said, oh my God, I said, those are the two that I gave the money to yesterday. Brooks said she was headed to church yesterday morning when she stopped at the Mapco on the corner of Harding and Trousdale Avenue. She noticed two people wearing dirty black clothes, thinking they may be homeless. She gave them the money she had on her. They did give me a look, you know, a strange look, but, you know, like I said, it didn't dawn on me. I just did what I felt the need to do and I walked away. Brandon Griswold and Whitney Gray were arrested just feet away from that spot today. To know that I came in contact with two people that admitted that they murdered, you know, some people. I, I've never had this experience before. And she hopes to never have it again, but she says she doesn't regret giving them that money. Griswold and Gray were charged with murder tonight. Police say it appears that there was an ongoing dispute between the two couples and that heroin use was likely involved. In the newsroom tonight, I'm Todd Walker, News Channel 5.